I played college basketball Division I in the season of 1979 to 1980 at Idaho State University, home of the Bengals. It was my second year in college. The guy on the team was named Brian Banks. He was six foot nine, and I think he was from California, and he was an amazing talent. Really, really good. He could jump, but he couldn't jump rope. Early in the season, Coach had us put on weight vests that weighed 15 pounds or so each, and then jump rope for up to 30 minutes during the practice. And we'd get five minutes in, and then we'd get 10 minutes in, and a, a, a significant time marker, Coach would say, if Brian Banks can do a double jump, or if he can cross over with his jump rope, you're done right now. The pressure is on Brian Banks. And Coach knew he could get away with this because Brian Banks could not jump rope to save his life. He, he would concentrate and get all squinched up and everybody's looking at him, come on, Brian, we're all cheering for you. My, my arms are dying here, and he'd mess it up every time. Epic fail every single time. Then the preseason scrimmage takes place at Idaho Falls where the big donors are. So we went up and had a scrimmage just for them. Even then, it was all about the money. And I got to play in the scrimmage significant minutes, unlike during the rest of the season. And I boxed out Brian Banks. We were on opposite sides. I boxed him out. I got this rebound. I back him away 10 feet from the basket. It was incredible technique. I jumped to get the rebound, and he reaches right over the top of me and, and plucks it from my grasp. I didn't even touch it. At the timeout, immediately following that, the coach went on and on about how great my technique was. And if I could jump at all, I would have had that. I would have got that rebound, and Brian Banks was, was lazy and he had poor technique, but he got it anyway. He could jump, but he couldn't jump rope. A lot like most contemporary climate scientists. They can jump, they can do all this incredible work. It's truly amazing the kind of information they put out. They're clever, they're creative, they're putting out great information, but then they can't take that next step and conclude that runaway greenhouse means that we're not going to survive either and we're in the midst of abrupt climate change, a whole lot of climate scientists will agree with that, but they won't go that next step, I suspect, because they're not biologists or ecologists, so they don't understand that extinction includes our species, too. Climate scientists can jump really well, but they can't jump rope.